I'm out here at an Electrify America 350 kilowatt fast charger, charging up my Silverado, my Silverado EV. And something, something interesting that has been talked about with these Silverado EVs is around the air conditioner. You can hear it working in there. You can hear the fan blowing across the condenser here. You can't hear the compressor. I don't know where the compressor is actually sitting at. But um, they've talked about how, you know, you, you pull up to a supercharger and if you have the cabin, if you have the cabin air on to keep the cabin cool, that the battery charging slows down significantly. Like instead of 250, 300 kilowatts, it's down to like 40 kilowatts charging. And you have to turn off the cabin air in order for it to work. People are talking about software updates and you know this and that. And I'm like, what? Like, what could it be? And I'm looking at parts diagrams and there's only one AC compressor for this truck. So it both cools the battery, which of course is needed. You're charging a battery at very fast speeds, which is going to create heat. And if you let that heat soak in the battery, it will damage the battery permanently. You can't let it get hot. So there's gonna be temperature sensors to keep that under control and not let the battery get hot. And the easiest way to do that, I mean, obviously cool it, which the AC compressor will do what it can, but also slow down the charge rate. So like I've got my cabin set to low and it's it's dark out here. It's like 75, 80 degrees out here. So it's not hot. And you can see I'm at 127 kilowatts charge rate right now is what I've dropped to. Now, if I turn this off and we watch this, the AC compressor is going to be able to catch up and it is going to start charging faster because it's able to cool the battery more. And of course, what that tells me, unfortunately, is that this AC compressor is simply undersized. Um, because if it can't keep up with the cabin air, granted I had it on high, right? But even if I had it just on 75 in here, it was still dropping me 30, 40 kilowatts of charging in order to be able to charge, to be able to cool the cabin. So the deal is here, there's not a capacity in the AC cooling system in order to cool the battery at full charge rate and cool the cabin. Um, so right now I'm like up to 196. It's, it's climbing back up. So the AC compressor is catching up and, and getting the battery cooler. What happens though when it's 110 out and I'm driving cross country and I stop at a supercharger, I wanna sit in the truck for 20 minutes to charge. I'm not gonna be able to charge at 350 kilowatts while sitting in the truck. People have been talking about charging at 30 to 40 kilowatts because they're trying to keep themselves cool in the truck while also charge the truck. So this is gonna be interesting. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen here, but um, let, me, let me show you the screen again. You can see it has, it's gone back up to 200 kilowatts, which is much more reasonable. Um, I started this charge at 32% and it was up at like 280 and it dropped, it dropped and I, uh, it, it preconditioned the battery. So it started nice and high and then it was dropping. Um, and then I played around with the AC back and forth and I could definitely tell that if I turned the AC on in the truck, that would drop the charge rate, turn the AC back off and the charge rate would go back up again. So. Very, very interesting.